While CoSpaces is an awesome tool for designing and creating three-dimensional scenes, you can also bring these experiences to life through code. It always helps to think through your scene beforehand so you know exactly what it is you're going to want to code. In my case, I want to have my character stand up from her seated position on the bench, move forward a bit and notice the fox hiding in the grass. This will startle both of them and then the fox will run off behind the trees on this path that we created earlier. Since I've planned out what I want to do, now I can get into coding. With a few exceptions, we need to tell CoSpaces exactly which items we want to code. To do that, simply right click on an asset you wish to code, click on the button that says code, and then click the slider beside use in CoBlocks. Once the slider is blue and has switched to the right, our item is ready. We can go ahead and do this to all of our other items that we wish to code as well. Now let's start coding. Click on the button in the upper right corner of your design space that says code, which will open the coding window. You can resize this window by clicking on the two vertical lines to the left of the coding window and dragging until it's your desired space. Here, CoSpaces gives us the option to code with CoBlocks or script. I'm going to go ahead and start with block coding, but if you'd like more of a challenge, feel free to try out their script coding interface. Now we can see all of the coding blocks we have access to grouped into descriptive categories. Depending on whether you're using the free or paid version of CoSpaces, you may have fewer categories than I do right now. As with any coding project, we now need to walk through our scene step by step, being very deliberate and purposeful about our coding. So I mentioned that I want my character to get up from her seated position on the bench and move forward. Those are two different actions, stand up and move. So first, I'm going to want to change her animation from her seated posture to standing. So I can click through my categories and try to find what I'm looking for, or I can just type up in the search box here, animation. Once I find the block I need, I can click and drag it into my coding window underneath my when play is clicked start button. Now that I've got my block, I need to change what item I want to animate. So in this case, it's me. And then I need to pick an animation. So if I want her to stand up, I can scroll through these here, but that's very likely her neutral position. Once my character is standing, I want her to move forward just as far as she might need to, to notice the fox here in the grass, which is probably only about one block here. So again, I can click X on animation so I get all of my categories back. I can go through again and search for what I need, or I can just simply type move in the search box, which will lower my options. I can hover over my different blocks here, and it turns out I need this first one. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it again into my coding window, and again, change all of my options here. So I want to move my character one meter, which is one of these large blocks here, forward, in we'll say one second, we'll leave it for now. It's always a good idea to test your code every so often. So let's see what this looks like so far. I'm going to click on play in the upper right hand corner of our screen, which will show us exactly what our code is doing right now. So the character stood up and moved forward, although maybe not the way I wanted her to. I might instead want to change her animation from neutral to walking. So let's go back. So instead of her animation being neutral, I think I'm just going to straight up change that to walk. So she's going to change her animation to walk. She's going to move forward. And then when she's done, then I want her to stand still. To make this a little easier, I can right click on my animation block here, click duplicate, and then just move that where it needs to go before changing my option here back to neutral. So let's play that again. So she's standing up, walks forward, and then stands in a neutral position. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted her to do. So I'm going to click back and then I'm going to just build out a little bit more of this code real quick. Now we're to the point where I want the fox to run away on this path we made earlier. Luckily, path items are set to automatically be used in CoBlocks, so this is easier than you might think. All we need to do is search our blocks again for move, 
But in this case, I want this third one that says move on path. So I can drag this into my scene and change the options I need. So in this case, I want to move the fox on. Now I have a couple of paths in my scene and I know I want this straight path that I made earlier. And then I want to change how long it takes the fox to run. So I'm going to change that to four seconds. But let's see how this looks. So we're going to go ahead and play here. Now, I didn't change the animation of the fox, which I probably wanted to. When Jen or the Jen character startled the fox in the grass, I changed its animation to angry, but I might want to duplicate that. And before it starts walking on the path, change it to run because it's running away. There are many different codes available in CoSpaces, so see what you can create, and we'll continue this in the next video.